Can you believe it? See that mint jelly? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's the special video today. It's the 5,000 sub roast lamb special. <laughs> so that should be pretty fun. Victoria's here with us. Hey guys. And we've got about 15 kilometers or so to walk up the valley. And then we've got to make big base and get out the lamb. I've got one kilo of agria potatoes in the backpack, which is I think about 2.2 pounds and about 800 grams to a kilo of lamb roast. We've also got some wine, beers, chippies, and a whole bunch of new gear. New head torches, new stove, new sleeping pads. Probably other stuff too, but I can't remember. But that's going to be pretty awesome. Celebration. Yeah, it's like a celebratory camp. So pretty cool that you guys can come along. Should be a good one. It's horrible conditions today, by the way. <laughs> but we'll carry on down the valley, stop off for coffees maybe. Hot and dry. Yeah, it's a beautiful walk, but we'll see how we get on. We'll come back to you soon. Brew time. Made it to the lake. It's pretty hard work going up that hill. It's a few hundred meters of steep climb. But now we've just got to sidle around this lake. It's really nice and still. We've got to get that lamb cooking, get wood going. Gotta get fire on. Victoria's getting lost in the tussocks. We've made it into camp, we've got the tent pitched, we're in this little idyllic camp spot down by the stream. We've got to get all our stuff in quick, we've got to get a puffer jacket on because it's freezing here. You're still frost on the ground from probably last night and the sun's, the spot is not going to get much sun so we're going to have to make sure we get our fire going fast, we've got to get this lamb cooking, we've got to keep ourselves warm. But we'll get everything into the tent, we'll show you our new sleeping pads, we'll get set up and we'll carry on with firewood and maybe have a soup. One broccoli, chippies, chocolate, pancakes. Here's the, the roast preparation kit. Put that over here. Here's all my potatoes. Chair, electronics, new Nemo. Nemo tensor, long wide. Look how small it is. <laughs> I love you, Jeff. The roasting grill.
Lumberjack. Beautiful evening. Oh. Now, Jane, tastes great. Gonna get the fire going now, got my fire starters. Give it up a pretty good amount of wood. Just gotta get it going, cause we gotta roast the lamb. So we're just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna biff in a bunch of this and hope for the best. Fire. Ooh. Victoria, are you okay? It's freezing here. Oh my God. Why is it so cold? I just put on two films, so hopefully it'll help. <laughs> All right, so it's getting pretty late, as you can tell. It's pretty much fully dark, and we still have a lot of stuff to do, but there's no wind and we're warming up with this great fire, so it's pretty cool. There's heaps of stars. Yeah, the stars have come it's out so pretty. all above us. It's rather <laughs> amazing. So I think what we'll do is just try chill for a bit. I'm gonna have a beer, we're gonna have some ginger wine, mm. which is pretty nice. And we've got some salt and vinegar chips, we'll have those. And we'll just let this fire die down, then we'll get the lamb on, and that'll take about 45 minutes, I think. But we just have to get everything sorted, get everything established, and make Maybe sure. Soup. Oh yeah, we have soups too. We mm. can do that. But yeah, it's pretty awesome here. Um, hope the camera is working. <laughs> Taking us up. <laughs> These river rocks keep exploding. <laughs> <laughs> we actually decided we're going to have um, a soup instead right now. But look at this. This is um, a new stove system that we have. I don't know. It's the Primus. Um, gravity, I think it's called. This is a, so the, the gas sits here and these little legs come out, super stable, real good for cooking. So this is a new piece of kit that we have. <laughs> and our head torches, which we can now actually see in the dark. But. Yeah, we've got awesome <laughs> head torches. Phoenix, not sure of the name, R65s or something. But I'll give more reviews on those later as we use them more, but they're pretty sweet. We'll get a little cup of tea. Well, no soup, I think. So, there's something warm in it. Yeah, you'll get the kettle. Cold. Yep. It's like the first time I've been able to sit down and relax. Hours <laughs> of preparation. It's so nice to have something warm in my hands. It's not May yet in New Zealand. We're currently at like near the end of April. Which is like the end of autumn or fall. Yeah, and it's 
going to be quite chilly, I think. We've got our UGQ negative one degree bandit quilts. Which are our kind of summer quilts. Kind of the summer <laughs> in between season. I think they should be sufficiently warm to like keep us all right tonight, but. <laughs> we'll find out. We do have new pads, which are going to be real nice. The Nemo Tensor insulated, long wide for me. And Victoria's got I've the got Nemo. The Alpine. The Alpine, yeah. yeah. So I should be nice and toasty. What our value is that? No idea. It's 4.8. Okay. Mine, yeah, mine's 4.2. So it should be toasty warm from underneath. Yay. I'm not going to lie, it's hard work. <laughs> it's harder, well it's more energy intensive actually doing all the prep for a camp like this and the actual trek to get in here. Hiking's easy compared to actually like camping, I would say. Collecting all the wood and yeah. rocks and bits and pieces. But we're here and it's pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm going to have this beer. I'll show you. Give you a close up. Might need my light to get on it. This is um, Ubernaut, double IPA. And it's gonna be succulent, I can already tell. Have you tried that one before? No, I haven't. There's no need to put it in the stream to cool it down because it's freezing. <laughs> what does it say about it? Open up the chippies. I was gonna open up the wine. Oh, yeah. You wanna give them a close up, Victoria? I could give them a close up. Show the lovely subscribers. <laughs> Anyway, cheers everyone. Here are we, here we are. Ginger wine. Should be tasty. Cheers. Cheers, oh, it's so cheers good. Cheers to you guys too. Yeah, thank you everyone so much for coming along and just supporting us, watching our videos, putting up with <laughs> my annoying voice. <laughs> <laughs> and I know everyone's here for Victoria. <laughs> this she is really nice. Is it? Yeah, it's like ginger beer but it's like one. Have a little sip? Yeah. Thank you Joe for for that. One of my awesome clients. Yeah, Whoa, that that's is strong. A present. That smells that's intense. Yeah it's nice. We're gonna be having a merry old time tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's time to decimate these potatoes. One kilo of agri is gonna go in the tray then on the fire. We're gonna cut them up now it's gonna be cool. We're gonna put in one little clove of garlic just to give it a bit of extra flavor, you know? It's gonna melt through the dish, it's gonna be nice. And look at this, this is lamb, rich and iron, butterfly leg, 24 New Zealand dollars. And New Zealand's renowned for growing delicious lamb and this has got a nice rub, the lamb rub. Ingredients, sugar, salt, spices, spice extract, dehydrated garlic and cocoa powder. This is from the artisanal section at our local butcher. So we're just gonna chuck that in there. It's gonna be nice. Is that a kiwi or is that a mohawk? That's a kiwi, isn't it? I really don't know. That's a kiwi, man. We'll just say it's a kiwi. Maybe someone will it's tell like us. It's like fake news, it's a kiwi. <laughs> someone can tell us. Is that a kiwi or is it a mohawk? Right. I, I need the olive oil. Just a teaspoon or well, tablespoon or so of olive oil. Maybe 100 mil. It's about a teaspoon. <laughs> <laughs> Get that in there, why not? Are you ready for something super exciting? We have some cool salt and pepper grinders. I lugged these in all the way on my back for 15 kilometers today, just for this moment. It's so cool. That's a ruthless dispenser. <laughs> it's like a shotgun. It's so much fun. It's worth it, eh, for all it's the pain. It's so worth it. It's rather aggressive <laughs> dispenser. Victoria's had too much ginger wine. Look at that. Freshly ground salt and pepper. It's so cool. I love them Primus <laughs> salt and pepper dispensers. That's so cool. It's definitely worth it. Look at the coals. Gotta get this lamb in and get it over the coals. I uh, just need a little bit more ginger wine in my cup. I feel like it's something you would uh, have in at Hogwarts. It tastes succulent, it's like ginger beer, but it's the strength of wine. You could add rum to it, that'd be nice. In. Holy moly, that smells good. And it's not even cooked yet. I was worried, is it enough? Is it <laughs> enough? Is this gonna be enough? Subscribe right now. <laughs> Just do Just it. For that.
hit the like button and subscribe. You can tell us what we need to do for 10k subs. <laughs> Fish and chips. How do we beat this? This is going to be so good. Fish oh and chips. Oh my god. <laughs> Grill on. There we go. Look at that. Wow, oh, look at that. And now we wait. Wow. So the lamb is on and it should take us about an hour, 45 minutes to cook it. We'll probably flip it in about 20 to 30 minutes. And then we've got mint jelly and we've got gravy and we have broccoli, which we're gonna char in the pan to cook up with it. It's gonna be a feast of epic proportions. So hope you guys enjoy it. We're gonna enjoy it. And we'll probably come back to you when we're flipping or when we're eating, but this is gonna be great. The ginger wines hit my brain. <laughs> Can you smell that lamb? This smells really I nice. I can't smell the lamb. I can smell like roast veggies and or roast potato and the lamb cooking. It's nice. I just smell ginger wine. <laughs> <laughs> I was just drunk. It goes straight to my brain. Yeah, so I had a radix shake, I had a bumper bar, and then I had the soup, some chippies, <laughs> and the beers. The beer and wine. And we walked for 15 kilometers. <laughs> no wonder why it, it hits me hard. I don't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> Lamb flipping time. All right, I'm gonna take this off. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. That's cooking. All right, All right, should I just flip it over? I think so. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see that from over there, but. It's in the shop. This looks so good. Whoa, go. that's crisping up. That's roasting nice. Yeah, man. Yum. Crank the fire up a bit, eh? Although it's sizzling away, I reckon it just needs time. Stoke it up, put it on high. Now the oven's on high. <laughs> We're gonna get this broccoli in the frying pan, char that up. The lamb is about done. So I'm gonna eat all this. Gotta eat greens, you know. Come out camping, fry that off. This is my Primus pepper dispenser. Red. Salt. <clears throat> so we're gonna take the roast off the cops. Oh, it's off the grill. Off to the side. All just burn, I reckon. Big hunks. Gonna make some gravy. Gravy. Mix with a little bit of ginger wine. Oh wow. That smells so good. That's a full lamb roast <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. This is the best meal we've this is the best meal that's ever been had. This far into the wilderness. And over here is the gravy. Then guess what? What? We have mint sauce to go with oh, it. Oh yeah, we do. Well, uh, mint jelly. Mint jelly. Look Amazing. at this. That's going to be so tasty on we that th lamb. Three capsules of mint jelly <laughs> to put onto the lamb. Capsules, I like it. Let's get it plated up. You want to yeah. slice it or do you want me to slice it? No, I'll slice it. Okay. Let's give us some potatoes each so that they're a little bit out of the way. Not even a carving knife, just a plain old little knife. It's just some standard blunt kitchen knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, look at all the juices in there. What is life? It's the final touch. Mint jelly. Mint and apple jellies from Barker's New Zealand company. Okay, let's eat. This is this is a full roast lamb with mint jelly, gravy, potatoes. 
Can't really cut it on the neck. Charred broccoli. Right, she is so tender. In the middle of nowhere. These are like the most blunt knives in this slicing tray. I'll show you. <laughs> Look at this. Can you believe it? See that mint jelly? Oh man, I need to go to bed. <laughs> I gotta go to bed after this. The lamb is tender, eh? Mm. The meat rub's quite good because it's not overpowering. Mm. You can taste a bit that like garlic. It's gravy. Potato and gravy. Oh my gosh, it's everything you want when you're cold. A little table would be nice. Mm. <laughs> is it too much to ask? Yeah, I'll carry a table next time. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll just get a bigger pack. I'll carry a table. It's a table too. What else? <laughs> This is really nice. It's so yum. Those potatoes taste so good over fire. Oh well. After this, what do you do? I mean, look at this huge chunk of lamb. Like, I'm just going to eat it. I'm trying to slice it to be polite to the camera. Mm. I'll put gravy all over my sleeping pad. <laughs> and just roll around in it. <laughs> roll around in mint sauce and gravy. Why am I eating lamb here? It seems unreal. Why is it so tender? Everyone, I'm, I'm blown away. I just, I don't really have anything to say. Um, just thank you everyone for being here and helping us out on our channel. And I really appreciate it and I hope you guys do too. And I'm not sure what we're going to do next. But it's probably going to be cool. But yeah, <laughs> we're going to, we're going to carry on eating this lamb and probably, this. yeah, I'll probably come back to you later and <laughs> eat some more lamb, I don't know. <laughs> Victoria has retreated into the tent because she got cold and I'm not going to lie, it's very cold out here. It's super still, not a single cloud in the sky and everything's just turning to ice. So I heated up some hot water and I put it into a Nalgene bottle and Victoria's got it inside a quilt in, in the tent so she's warming up. And I'm trying to get this fire going better, but it's not going too well because the wood's a bit wet and we let it die down a little bit too much when we put the lamb on. And then I just biffed massive logs on, but I'm actually not too cold because I've been running around and all that lamb's just digesting inside of me, so I feel pretty good. I'm gonna get a hot chocolate on. Try to save us. I love this piezo igniter thing for the Primus. It's really cool. Okay. It's your classic jar of mint. Victoria, I have a hot chocolate for you. It'll be hot. You don't want to burn yourself. It's cold in here. Boots off, get into my fleece pants, get in the tent. In the tent now, it's actually very warm in here. I can feel the heat reflecting back from the pad back into me straight away. It's very warm and it's comfortable. Victoria is in full hibernation mode. Hello? Mm -hmm. She's down there. Um, she's all right, we're both all right. The roast lamb is just keeping us going. But it's been pretty cool, pretty cold, and rather nice just chilling out, but I think it's time that we head off to bed. And I'll probably give a in-depth description on how I sleep on this nice new Nemo pad in the morning. But yeah, I guess it's bedtime, and we'll see you tomorrow morning for luxurious pancakes I'm definitely gonna get the fire going in the morning so that'll be nice I got heaps of leftover wood good night everyone good night. good night see you in the morning good morning everyone we have awoken in the tent and 
everything is completely covered in ice outside. All the tent flies frozen. Um, everything's just white. Looks a bit wet there. <laughs> yeah. We're starting to melt it. It's yeah, it's melting. But all of this is frozen, frozen ice. It is cold. <laughs> so I think it's time to get a brew on. Um, and then I guess we should get up and make some delicious pancakes. We, Even my shoes are frozen. That's, yeah, Victoria's <laughs> little, what are they called? Ultra Lone Peaks. They're super comfy. They're great to walk in, in, but they're a little bit wet from running around in the grass last night. Um, and the laces are frozen. Look at this big, like, palace. Look at that pillow. That's the Nemo fellow pillow but that's Victoria's extreme size version <laughs> compared to my little one luxury it's just ice it's just ice over everything the tripod has been in the freezer overnight Last freezer. oh no my boots are frozen too Oh, the leather's frozen. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Just hold the gas up a little bit. My first time using this little stove. I really like it. I like the little adjustment on the gas bottle. And it's just so much more stable. It's great. Are you warm? Just turn it off right there. Just sitting out here in the frozen wasteland. It's extremely beautiful. <laughs> no, it's not a wasteland. It's, a it's like, yeah, we're in a paradise right now. A frozen paradise. But what I'm going to do is I'll get the fire going and then we can probably have more coffee and then we'll uh, maybe think about getting the pancakes on. But it's so nice just sitting here. There's so many little details. I'll try to capture them on the camera. There's that little dew coming off all the flaxes. There's mist coming off the lake. There's little frozen plants on the ground. It's real nice.
Just had an Aeropress, had a couple of coffees, just been chilling here by the fire. It's quite nice, the morning's pretty still, well, really still, no wind at all. Horrible conditions for camping really. Absolutely no rain, it's sunny, nice. But I think it's time we probably think about getting these pancakes off. The fire's just hissing away nicely and the sound of the stream bubblings. Rather pleasant, it's just a beautiful camp spot. But I'm thinking it's time to eat soon. So we'll start prepping up these pancakes. It's pancake time. We're gonna make our delicious pancakes, which I have a special mixture of the Radix vanilla protein powder, oats, almond meal, and a few other ingredients in there. But if you want the recipe, uh, head over to our Instagram because we've posted it up on there, but we're gonna jump in and start making this. Yeah, we've got the new brand of maple syrup today. Give it a wee taste test. It's very rich and mapley. What's the flavour like? Mm, tastes like tree juice. Alright, so I need a bowl because I'm going to mash up some of this banana. But yeah, you know the process. Mash the banana up, infuse it into the batter. Mix it up, make the juicy mixture. Add some water. And then cook the pancakes. But this time we have the special addition of some dark chocolate, chocolate chip chunks, which we're going to sprinkle onto the pancakes for additional deluxeness. <laughs> so I said in the last video that these were the best pancakes you're ever going to see in your life, but I think it might be uh, this week's pancakes. We'll, will we'll be see. The best we ones. might not like the chocolate chips. In it. Potentially not. The fire's going really nicely now. I chucked on a huge stump and it's just slowly burning away. <laughs> the lake is like glass. There's a few ducks squawking in the background. It just looks like a mirror. It's reflecting everything straight. Yeah, just the mountains. Yeah, it's amazing. And what a spot though. <laughs> Lucky to be here. And thank you everyone for joining us on these camps. Last night was a bit rushed, so I don't know how the footage will come out. It was we got in a bit late and yeah, I didn't eat enough during the day so I was freezing cold and... And it was dark and the roast lamb was delicious but a lot of effort after a big day's walking so... Hope everyone enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. <laughs> but it's hard work walking this far to try and do such a thing at this time of year. Yeah, but it was oh well. a pretty massive walk in. At least it wasn't bucketing down with rain. All right guys, we are all set up and ready to start cooking these pancakes. And I'm really excited because this new stove is going to be great for heat distribution and keeping it nice and level rather than it being this big tower like we normally use. So, I'm going to get this on. So I'm going to put some oil in. And my mixture's been sitting for a few minutes to let the linseeds kind of bind it all together. New addition this week to make these super deluxe is some little dark chocolate chips. So I'm going to sprinkle some of those onto each of our pancakes. You can see how the bubbles are being distributed evenly across <laughs> the surface of the pancake, which means it's cooking evenly. This new stove is really nice for this type of cooking. The last one gets all the additional chocolate chips. Look at that, that's <laughs> going to be deluxe. The most deluxe pancakes since last week. Yeah, the most deluxe you've ever seen in your life. I think to beat this I'd need whipped cream. <laughs> Perhaps. 
banana chocolate chip, maple syrup, pancakes. We um, now have a discount code that you can use for the protein which we use in these pancakes. It's ABLEVIC10. I'll put the link to the company Radix in the description mm. and the discount code, but they do like freeze dried meals for backpacking and they also sell um, like bulk protein powders. It's the stuff that we use all the time. So mm. we really love the product and it works great. So it's mm. cool that we can share a discount code with everyone. It's really exciting. I love, I love all this stuff really. Mm. And we use it like every single day. Every day. The protein powder, <laughs> well these pancakes and the protein powder staple of our diet. Yeah. And it's great in all sorts of baking and everything. It just mixes in really well. It's a nice natural flavour. It's not too... You know how some products are just too sweet? Yeah. And this Primus salt grinder mm. thing. Mm. I love it. You want some salt? Mm. Oh man. But yeah, these pancakes, I don't know what to say. Like, there's chocolate all through them. <laughs> so much maple syrup. <laughs> It's a delightful experience. We're going to be running out of here today with all the energy from these. It's kind of like a chocolate mm. banana, like a chocolate banana cake. Yeah. Oh, and if you want the recipe for these pancakes, if you head over to our Instagram, there's a link on the YouTube channel um, to click through and you'll find it on there. So you can try them for yourself. Yes, everyone should try these. <laughs> Great in the hills, great at home. I highly recommend it. Breakfast, dessert, lunch, whatever you want. But it's been a fantastic camp. A little bit stressful at times. Lots of new gear, worked out good. The stove's great. My new pad, the long wide Nemo. Tents are insulated, awesome. The head torches were really good. Mm. Uh, just real robust, heaps I'm of light. I'm so happy we've got those. Real good angle on them, so you can just see everything. Everything's fully illuminated. So the Phoenix uh, 65s or something. I'll put the, all the gear that we used in this video, I'll explain in the description so you can get it for yourself if you'd like. But I'm really happy it all worked out. I always get really nervous bringing out new gear when you haven't tried it and you don't know what it's going to be like. You hope that it's going to be great. Yeah. But you just need to know sometimes. It all worked good. Mm. So... Yeah, thank you everyone for coming on, coming along on our 5,000 roast lamb subscriber special camp. <laughs> I think the next food challenge will be at 10,000. And I yeah, I might, everyone in the comments, oh. leave your ideas and I'll put a poll up in the community post so you guys can vote and, <laughs> and I'll put down the top rated suggestions. So it'll be quite funny to see what people come up with. <laughs> I want to attempt like fish and chips or something. Would but that be possible in the house? It'll be, anything's possible in the house. But I suppose we'll have these. Maybe some more coffee than a slow pack up. Well everyone, that was the camp. We're all packed up now. I think it's about 12 o'clock. We've been pretty slow this morning, but we've just been chilling out. We've been in no rush. So yeah, thanks for coming along. Appreciate everyone watching and commenting. I try to respond to everyone. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Sounds good. Thanks for coming. See you next time. See you guys. We've got a big mission. Big walk out. We're gonna get soaking wet. But it is what it is, you know? Catch you later.